And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Katarina Shen. This was a donation deck that we had a couple of weeks ago, and it was it was pretty impressive and just a fun deck to play and something different. You know, how I play four decks every single day. I like to play different stuff, so those of y'all, um, you know, can, can see uh, different decks and not just, you know, the same uh, tier one decks all the time. This one we're combining Shen. Um, supporting our allies, giving them Barrier, and Katarina. Um, they don't seem like they go together that, you know, like, like when you think about it, like, when you first think about it, because, um, you know, like, giving, supporting Katarina and giving <clears throat> Katarina Barrier doesn't seem to make much sense when Katarina will just be recalled as soon as she strikes. It's really about, like, the extra attacks, um... You know, like a, a leveled up Katarina, you can keep playing it and rallying and getting those extra attacks. And so each one of those attacks, you can give other things barrier with Shen and level up Shen and have this. I don't know, that's kind of like what it is. Like there's just, there's like some good Ionia and Noxus cards, you know, that we can just kind of play in the early game. We have things like Green Glade Caretaker that uh, keep growing and is just an awesome one drop. Like this is a card that can be, you know, like a seven two for, for one mana after a little bit. Hey, Thorwolf. <laughs> yeah, this is your deck right here. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a good, good tricks, uh, like good combat tricks, like Transfusion, Twin Disciplines. We got a Whirling Death in here. We also have, um, you know, pretty decent uh, tempo plays with like Concussive Palm, Will of Ionia. We can gain life with our Spirits Refuge. Especially like something that, you know, like there's a really big Green Glade Caretaker. We could use that. Remember, Stand United was an awesome trick for us. And then also like these Battering Rams were pretty cool. And how this, this metagame is kind of, this is like a stompy metagame with like these Noxus aggro decks that are real stompy, like they're just kind of curving out. Having like an O12, that seems like a good card to have. Um, and just like barrier cards in general are pretty good against those Noxus decks, so... That's what we've got going on here. <clears throat> so I'm not sure how this will play out, but uh, we're gonna go have some fun and play five games in rank and play something a little different here with Katarina Shen. Awesome, Thorwolf. Yeah, you've still been playing this deck? Yeah, how, how's it been going for you recently? Like how, yeah, how's, yeah, basically, let me know, how, how are you doing with this deck? Okay, I, I I thought there was something wrong with the connection there, how it's taken a while to connect. But there it goes. Looks like we're playing against deep. Alright, don't really need refuge against deep. I'll keep all of these. I don't don't always keep Katarina in the opener. This is a card that says three mana, but sneakily it's it's a late game card. It's not really a three drop because you don't really want to spend turn three playing this and putting it back into your hand um, very often. I am one with the land. Who would trespass here? Oh, I didn't update my emotes. We don't have any cool emotes. Just the starter ones. Let me show you what I can do. Yeah, I basically kept it against this late game deck, but... <clears throat> yeah, I frequently mulligan Katarina. Don't keep it very often. I wonder why they passed turn to me and didn't play Thorny Toad, right? Like, what... What did they have they wanted to pass turn? Well, that's a good start for them. Their 1-2 drop, and best 3 drop. Yeah, Stand United is awesome. Hmm. What do we want... To do play transfusion. Uh, 
<clears throat> Alright, is it better to transfusion or nah? Come here, darling. Think you're fast? So I'm kind of thinking no transfusion. The blessed isles live through me. I don't know if it's a good thought, but I'm kind of thinking no transfusion um, to be able to save. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Basically, okay, if I use transfusion there and maybe do like one damage to one of these things um, and then pump up the Crimson Disciple, both of these have one health left and it'd be very easy for them to kill them with Vile Feast and Withering Whale and stuff like that. And I just didn't really want that, to be honest. I will play my Alright, so you want to attack with Katarina before <clears throat> Fae Blade Twirler. Cool. I like I like how we save that transfusion. We save Katarina. Violence solves everything. That worked out. Yeah, the okay. Uh that Mage Seeker Lux, you have to go down you have to scroll down quite a ways for that Mage Seeker Lux. It was from like 20 days ago or so. You have to scroll down a long ways um, to find it. Here, I just did. It's from a month, from like a month ago. I wish, I wish that once you update deck list, it would go to the front, but there you go, Will. That should help out. And that was just a one for one because we got that Blade's Edge for free from the Katarina. Is that one of the, the most fun champion names to say? Katarina. I'll try any one you want. The Katarina. You're welcome. Looks like they have another grasp of the undying. Um, let's just attack with those. So basically, I wanted to not play Katarina to not let it die. And be able to keep barrier available for it. Hmm. Never. How do I beat Devour of Depths? Stand United? Lethal. Intruder. I love a taste of the action. Maybe lethal, depending on how they block.
All right, so this is one. Do you hear the call? I think this could be lethal. Okay, so <clears throat> they block like this. They're at nine. Darn, not lethal. Um. One, three, five, seven. Put him down to two. Uh, but then they gain four life. Let's just go. But then they also lose one there. Let's just go that card. Basically, I was, hope I was trying to. Okay, so what I was trying to do was set up uh, Green Glade Caretaker being lethal with Stand United, which it almost was. I think we might have had him if they would have blocked like they were thinking about originally. Yeah, Katarina decks are fun. So Stand United. Stand United is pretty crazy. Could be a really underrated card. Could be one of those uh, real good card that you're not playing. That's an article. No going back. I don't think... <clears throat> That's a problem. And they're only at four. Let's see, they go to seven. I don't think if I put the barrier on the Crimson Disciple that it will count as surviving damage and do two damage to them. They have to block these two over here. I will not rest. Now who's got the upper hand? Man, we about to kill Nautilus with damage. It's pretty metal. The problem with going straight to attacks is withering whale. But I'd still have Katarina. So go straight to attacks. Yeah, you can like counter vengeance with Stand United. You can do so much stuff with Stand United. To rallies. Okay, so the bear, so they would take damage with the barrier with um, Crimson Disciple. Core deck with the donation deck. Cool. I actually am out of donation decks. I don't have any on the docker. We've played all the donation decks that I have. So, see, like. <laughs> I write the donation decks down and then I, I cross them out. See, like we we like crossed all these these out. Okay, 
I'm not sure this deck is good enough against the meta because I haven't been playing much lately. So you can have some fun after you get to master or you can play it for fun or normal. Uh, normal or ranked, but I don't want to ruin your progress. Oh. You don't have to worry about ruining my progress of ranking up, man. It's all good. Don't worry about... Yeah, y'all... Yo, don't ever have to worry about that. I know some people have kind of said that like with donation decks. They're like, oh man, I'm sorry you didn't, didn't do well with that and lost rank and stuff. I mean, it's all good. I'll, <laughs> I want to get rank back. We'll just play a little bit more. It's all good. Fiora Ash. Fiora Ash is cool. Oh, I d yeah, I don't, I don't mind donation decks on ones I've played before. I don't really want, like, the same donation deck for, like, you know, like, play it on Tuesday and Wednesday on and Thursday. That's something that, that happened before with, like, with MTG, like, a year, year and a half ago. Like, probably about a year ago. Um, you know, the same person just donated, and they, and I had, I had, like, a skip the line donation, and so they, they donated more. For like the skip the lines they want to see their deck every day and so like that that's not great <laughs> like you know people just did stopped watching that video on youtube but i don't i don't mind you know every you know every week or whatever playing the deck playing the deck don't mind at all on guard Are those like the two best cards to hit with Omen Hawk? Or are they the two best cards to hit with Omen Hawk? I'm not sure. One of those two. I never hold back. Uh Cordex, so what what kind of deck is it? So I, I can write down like what kind of deck you're up, you're playing. Here's our chance. You can see the order. Yeah, possession is pretty good. Possession possession is underrated. Okay, this is oh it's full undying. Okay. That's an undying deck. Cool. Alright. Five mana. It does sound like Greenglade Caretaker plus Shen. It sounds like what to do with five mana. Always two steps ahead. I walk this space to three worlds. I sense an imbalance. That's a fat quick block. We have quick attack. They just had a quick block. I didn't change my emotes. Didn't change emotes. A true Fragorian welcome. Um, Batter him. okay, so we're going to we're going to go ahead and stand united. Is that worth the block? We're gonna just block with this. 
Wanna see these moves up? Do I just not block. Oh, it's on. Free life. I'm gonna block. Okay. We traded Stand United for Brittle Steel, but then also like with the Ice Veil Archer Trigger and they didn't kill anything with Fiora. <clears throat> this would be quick. This Shen about to level up. This Shen about to level up. Blades Edge on the 3 1. I'll see what they do. <clears throat> and I suppose I could have Blades Edge the Fiora to get rid of that barrier. But I kind of like doing that. I find them unworthy. Try to keep up. They cannot hide. Our wills align. Hey, Kakuro. Hello, hello. Shield up. Hello, hello, hello. All right, Shen dies, but we have another Shen. That's all good. Solves everything. So both of our champions are leveled up. And we're feeling the sizzle. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Alright, so that'd be Fiora's second thing to kill. Two down. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Dang, leveled up Shen's a 4 6. That's so big. Think you're fast? Cute. Scary. It's three out of four for Fiora. It must be done. No closer. Take that trade if they want to. I think we have this with having the, the double barrier. Oh no! Wait. Yeah, we still have this, don't we? Because that thing has a barrier. This has a barrier now, too. GG's! Katarina Shen. This deck's just pretty tricky. Okay, here we go. This deck's just pretty tricky. We got to do a lot of cool little tricks in there. Alright, Battering Ram, you're cool, but you're gone. Culling Strike, you can stay. How am I going to deal with this Yasuo? Yasuo's going to be tough. 
I think we keep Culling Strike though. They, you know, besides Yasuo, you know, so Culling Strike would kill Katarina. Besides that, they're the two mana one three. You know, like that same card that we play. That card's great. Uh, the Fluffy Tails. So I need to have removal for the Fluffy Tails. All right, Kordak, have a good night. House Spider. What are we doing? Playing House Spider. This is March. Two worlds, one balance. Go get him, Shen. Nope. Uh, all right, Twin Disciplines or Transfusion? Mm. Go Twin Disciplines. I basically just didn't really want to make this thing one health as far as uh, transfusion goes. That's a weird block. They they gotta have like a something to do a little bit of damage to this caretaker, right? Like that so they they're they're gonna trade. Um you know, like a blade's edge or something. Okay, whirling death. We'll take that. I mean, our caretaker is just a one mana card. So our one mana card traded for their three mana removal and their two mana card. Oh no. Should have gone transfusion. Ugh, should have gone transfusion. Yeah, Jump Rub, you, you called it. Transfusion plays around flock. I didn't, I didn't really consider that. You called it. Should, we should have gone Lee's board. It's a better Ionia board. We just played the Lee Sins board with the Twisted Sin, so I don't I don't want to play like that. You know, I want to have a basically want to do a, a different board every single uh, video of the four each day. Even though they may play something that means that we don't get to attack anymore, attacking would have just dealt one damage. It's not like Try to keep up. it's not like we're doing that much. And honestly, how they pass to me, I probably should have just passed back. Okay, well we weren't punished. So they probably should just put, pass back and have them waste their mana. The balance requires a they must just have a whole lot of interaction and maybe some eight drops like Leviathan. No, they're not gonna have Leviathan. They could have like Yone, Mina Swiftfoot, <clears throat> a bunch of interaction, sure, stun some stuff. The reason to play that would be Ravenous Flock, right? We will not fail. Or Legion General. Close the, hmm. distance. the Legion General's warning was you're about to take a lot of damage. It must be done. Yeah. It's just not great playing all of these combat tricks against the Ionia deck. Alright, 
All right, we may get two for ones with like a bounce spell. If not, I just, I just spent three cards to deal with one. If not. Okay, okay. I'm glad we drew a Shadow Assassin. That's a good card to draw with the card advantage to try to get back in this, because we are down a lot of cards now. We are now down a lot of cards. Thankfully, they can only gain three life, even though they gain millions of life. They can only gain three. And just killing that right now before they can have like a deny or a barrier or something else to keep that thing alive. Um, maybe that was unnecessary though with me having the caretaker to block it. I want to keep caretaker. Yes. All right, cat's a good draw. We gotta get cat to strike. level up this cat. That's... You cannot escape. That is our late game card that's to deal a bunch of damage and or spend a lot of mana, I guess. That's the way you could say it. That's our late game card to spend a lot of mana. No going back. Get him, cat. Oh, I I should. Uh, I talked about it last game. I need to. Yeah, my opponent knows I need to do those the other way around. Because yeah, because you, you want the Katarina to recall, and then you do the extra damage with the Blade Twirler. Wow, Katarina has quick block also? Not too often you get the quick block. Quick block's not a thing, by the way. Quick block. Let the bloodshed begin. Let it begin. It's just a day. Awesome, Katarina. I couldn't handle it. Good job, Cat. All right, three and O, oh, Katarina Shen. We're gonna be back to Masters in no time. Going eleven and two. Last. So we're going to win this one. We're going to be 4-0, and oh, and then we're going to lose. So that's what we've found out from our previous decks. Because <laughs> that's, that's what's been happening today. So that's all good. We'll take 4-1 we'll take every time. Good old 80% win rate. I know, that 5-win dream is, is so hard to get. So hard to get that five win dream. 
Yasuo again with Freljord. Oh man, I need to switch out my emotes, but maybe that's why we're doing well. Transfusion goes with Disciple. But I need another unit. Let me play some more Braum Yasuo. I feel like that's a good combination. Braum Yasuo. I could make a, I could make a sweet Braum Yasuo oh, I deck. Wait. I could do that. What do y'all think? Braum Yasuo, would that be a sweet deck? I could make that. They cannot hide. You cannot escape. All this can't do this, can't do that, can't hide, can't escape. What can you do? The order rewards its faithful. I go where the road takes me. You ain't blocking? You scared? Too scared. Let's do it. Brahm Yasuo. Hmm. So basically what I need to do is have Katarina get the blade's edge, hit that, and then flock it afterwards these woods protect their own they never gets any lighter mm. I should have just passed like they passed prior to me I should have just ended the turn Would have been more beneficial than what just happened. I walk this space between worlds. These champions are always bragging. They got three shadow assassins. Lucky. Take eight. Yeah, intimidating roar would have been bad. Oh, I, I mean, I know I got the three shadow assassins. We don't need to. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> we just, we just, we're supposed to just complain that they got three shadow assassins. They have six mana. Hoping this works with having this and then also Whirling Death. Like, so like if this doesn't work, if they play like Will of Ionia, I got Whirling Death. Where's his shirt? I just don't believe in shirts, I guess. Death is like the wind. Don't feel bad for the wind. It's just like they're doing its job, spreading crops and stuff. And it's being called death by Yasuo. All right, never-ending Yasuo's. The balance will decide your fate. Still there. This might hurt. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that's... Yeah, so they have Freljord with, like, Entreat for Yasuo, and then they also have all the Freljord protection spells. Think you're fast? Cute. So they can, they can have that as well. Um, at Lau. I guess that's how we're gonna say that. At Lau. Thank you so much for that resub. Three awesome months. Gets us to our bonus sub, our second bonus sub goal today. We're gonna be doing some bonus streaming today and tomorrow. Now, getting to bonus sub goals. Okay. So we're going to attack, 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 attack. And then we'll have, uh, yeah. I want the, the barrier to go on the little guy. And then we're gonna be bouncing our cat beforehand. Well, let's see what they got. All right, well, they're trying to stun Katarina. I don't want Katarina to die. So we gotta bounce Yasuo. That's annoying. Barrier life steal to protect that, but it's probably not worth barrier life steal. Underestimate. I dare you. These woods protect their own. Keeper, our lands need us. Man, cat's got that quick block. Swift and silent. Quick block. Strike hard. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Wise words for a dead man. Balance favors. It's really nice, solitary monk picking up concussive palm. It's really nice. Need cat to strike. Can't get cat to strike. My my emote game isn't good. Yeah, if you want the link of the deck, exclamation point deck gets you that. So I can always get the link to whatever deck I'm playing currently. If you want to link to all of the decks, exclamation point decks gets you that. We'll knock them down. So bounce that. Shen's about to level up. Heck, maybe I'm supposed to bounce this all over. I find them unworthy. This can kill Shen. But then they have to chump block the other two. But basically trade. I'm trading Shen for all three things on their board. Or no, not all three things, just these two, because right, this this thing stays alive. 
but it goes down to one health, so Cat can get another Blade's Edge for it. Oh, I guess they have that for one mana. That's a good attack with the Swift Foot, knowing about the, the Blade's Edge that I'm going to have access to. It's a good attack with, with the Swift Foot. Yeah, you don't see too many Minas around these days with how fast the metagame is, but that was a very good Mina. It's just the the worst matchup for Battering Ram, isn't it? And yeah, I guess guess I shouldn't have played the other one. Should have gone straight to attacks. Definitely counting on that solitary monk having to just block and die that health potion. That's the second time they've had a a devastating health potion. The first health potion was going to kill a Yasuo. That second one just kept them alive and didn't make them sacrifice their solitary monk to do it. spells over there. Well, this is potentially our second Yasuo to kill. If this works out. Fury of the North. Okay. Lost to Yasuo. Beat Yasuo the round before. Lost to it the second time. The time that we did beat Yasuo, they didn't have Yasuo. That time they had two, and they kept theirs alive multiple times afterwards. This is probably going to be a tough matchup. Brahma Nivia. I, I feel like this probably isn't going to be a good matchup for us. Um, let's keep that. Let's just keep all these. These woods protect their own. I mean, those cards are powerful. I mean, it's it's not it's not really it's not correct to say that the opponent had terrible cards. I mean, they're they're powerful cards, and if they can slow the game down enough and have the chance to cast them, they're good cards. They're not they're not terrible cards. 
Yeah, like I don't I don't know. I don't know if they can beat Noxus, but you know, like the, the aggro decks, but not a lot of stuff beat the aggro decks. Maybe he's just wants to have fun with his Yasuo deck and doesn't mind losing to aggro. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Nine. You dogs can eat later. Ow. My dogs are thinking it's time for them to get food because they usually they eat at 8 o'clock all the time. 8 a.m. 8 and 8 p.m. No. No. It's 8.09. They'll survive. <laughs> but not if you ask them. Not be a great time for me to see Braum. These old eyes still see Four three. Oh. Wow, that was this is a great turn for them. Four three Omen Hawk and then Sack That was a good turn for them. I already thought this was going to be a tough matchup, but this kind of opening that they had... How can Brom help? Pretty great. Just want to pass turn? They may just pass turn. No, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. We do not want to do that against Braum, never mind. This would have been a great card to have last game with the Katarina, right? When they kept on killing my Katarina, I could never level up Katarina. That would have been a great card to have. Last game. Warm hearts and hot soup. Card still not good. Um. Hmm. They're afraid. They should. Okay. <clears throat> Decided to do this. Decided that I don't think that I should attack with anything else. Therefore, let's kill that blocker that they had that was like a free blocker. And basically the only removal spell they could have for Katarina would be um, Grasp the Undying realistically, and so that we'd have Transfusion that could still save Cat from Grasp of the Undying. That's good. Feels bad. Well, I got to hold off on those things trading for a little while. Let's 
go with Transfusion. Because Transfusion will kill their 5 5 as well. And this this sets up really nice for us if they you know, like if they have like another removal spell to try to kill Katarina because the the box is only doing three damage to Katarina and nothing else but does one damage that's so killing these things. Um, that's okay, I suppose. I suppose. That would have been really nice if they if they were, did just have a, a spell to try to kill Katarina. Like, if that was, like, Grass the Undying, that would have been amazing for us, because then we get to just Whirling Death. And, um... And then with Whirling Death, uh, re recall the Katarina back to our hand. That would have been fantastic. So that's the Katarina they know about. It's important to keep playing the one they know about. Um... All right, cat. You got seven more damage to deal. Penguin, did you check out my Brahmanivia video from from yesterday? Or like, well, it it aired this morning. Uh, I I have my own take on Brahmanivia that I think's a lot better than the stock Brahmanivia list that people are playing. Let the blood you can do a cat. You can do it, cat. No going back. You can do Only it. My opponent's like, but I have the annoying champion that you can never get rid of, Anivia. What is this? The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. This is our time. So they have six mana left. So yeah, if you missed that one, Penguin, I recommend checking that out. I talk about some different changes to the Brahmanivia uh, cards that I prefer over what stockish lists are. I don't want to grasp the Undying. You know, like they didn't play grasp the Undying right away. I don't don't want that to kill Cat. Okay. Still alive. Still alive. A new era begins. I need one damage. So they can't attack with Anivia, because Anivia does two damage to the enemies. I have a Crimson Disciple that's a 2-3. They do two damage to Crimson Disciple, they lose. So they can't actually attack with Anivia. I bring the storm. Or they still do. Come here, done. That keeps that keeps them alive. I don't like that keeping them alive. All right, how about this? Cool, that kills him. All right, we'll just click OK. 
What else they got? GG's! I still had things to do. I didn't want to take 12 damage for some reason. Like, they just go, like, a whole bunch of Fury of the Norris or something weird. I don't know. They want to just randomly die somehow. I, I still had... I had multiple cards to, like, you know, get rid of... Get rid of their thing to keep my Katarina alive, so it was all good. Um... I, blocking with the like whirling death like blocking with the Katarina is important because of the whirling death because then I could I could go whirling have whirling death have Katarina strike the Anivia and pick Katarina back up um so Katarina wouldn't take any damage like that that's also an important thing that blocking with Katarina allowed me to do um but yeah there we go so that's Katarina Shen. Um, this is a fun deck to play. Like, you know, we got to do some different... We got to have some good success here with a 4-1. That's really good. Um, again, man, those 5-0s are so hard to get. It's so hard to win all five in a row. <laughs> so many 4-1s. 5-0 Dream. Uh, didn't get there. Battering Ram's pretty silly. This is, this is probably the worst card in the deck, TBH. It's... This card's pretty silly. Um, it probably shouldn't just be in here. It should probably just be like another Stand United and I don't know, something else. But um, yeah, this is a fun deck to play. Like, it, you get to do some cool things. And Katarina's a fun card to play. Shen's pretty cool. Get a bunch of barriers and stuff. Something different that is still uh, successful. That's, <laughs> that's like the motto of the stream right there. Play different things that are still successful. Yeah, cat's underrated. Yeah, almost had the full four one day. We had like a you know we had a couple of close losses with the with the Vladimir Hecarim. Man, if we could have just pulled out one of those, could have had the full four one day, the the eighty percent win rate day. Still another really good rank up day. We are back to oh man yeah so we're uh, yesterday we were at platinum three and now we're in diamond two so. We'll be in. We'll be back in Masters here pretty soon. Uh, not too worried about that. All right, so there we go. So that's Katarina Shen. Um, fun deck there. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Katarina Shen, and I'll see you for the next video.